Tiffany guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I have gotten a ton of requests lately how to do this specific Instagram reel that is sort of kind of going viral right now with a lot of people. I actually saw a few people doing this on TikTok and so I started making a bunch of them for Instagram reels and then putting them up on YouTube shorts. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, I'll play a couple of examples for you right here. It's adjustable. Seat. Now why is it up so damn far? It looks like it's back as far as it goes, Miss Fuchsia. No, you move that I can tell, cause look, when I inhale, my titty make the horn honk, listen. If you want something with a pie in me, just fuck your own brother in the front seat. Oh, why can't you just say it, please? Hey, must be the money! You make out be rich, but wrong dad. So it's pretty basic. It's just these different iconic movie scenes that are being cropped into your own car. I've just been searching on YouTube for different funny driving movie clips and then taking those and putting them in basically all of my different cars that I've built on the channel. So I'm gonna try and teach you guys how to do this today as easily as possible. However, I will note that I edit these in Final Cut Pro. So if you guys wanna do this the way that I do it, you're gonna need some sort of editing software like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Could probably get away with doing it in iMovie too, but I'm not quite sure I don't use that. I really only use Final Cut Pro and then for really like easy videos that I'm just cutting together, I typically use CapCut, which is a free editing app on your phone. But basically all we're doing is finding the scenes that we want from the movies, downloading that clip off of the internet. And then what you wanna do is find a picture of your car that was taken at a similar angle. So being that these clips from the movies are from dead on straightforward, we're gonna want a photo of our car from dead on straightforward, looking into the cockpit of the car. Granted, these don't have to be absolutely perfect, but I think that that's a good rule of thumb to make it look as realistic as possible. So let's head over to the computer. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. All right, guys, so you're gonna see that I have Final Cut Pro up here, and then I actually have a file already started. And if we look at the actual format of this file, it is a vertical format at 2160, 3840 and the rate is 23.98. And this is the resolution that I will use for a 4K vertical video. So the next thing you wanna do is obviously go to your photos and find a picture that you wanna use of one of your cars from straight on. I haven't done one on my E90 M3 yet, and I think that's what I'll do today. So I'm just gonna scroll through here. Ooh, that would be a good one. That actually might be perfect. So I think we'll just start with this one right here. So I'm gonna drag the photo into Final Cut Pro and then I'm gonna extend it. And there's a bunch of different ways that you guys can do this. This is just the way that I like to do it. Center it as big as possible in the middle. So basically the way that we're gonna be doing this is creating what we call a mask. We're gonna drag in the video that we want. And this one in particular is the Monsters Inc. video. This is like the first one that was kind of popping off online. And so it was actually the first one that I made and I used one of my other cars. And then I just got a ton of people asking me how to do it. And I sort of just rewashed that idea and used it with like different funny car scenes and people seem to be enjoying it. So what we're gonna do first off. It's like we've released a pattern. <laughs> so there's like a bunch of different funny car scenes that you can use out of this too. I think what we're gonna use is the scene where he's it's trying adjustable. to get the seat adjusted perfectly. Um, so this is right when they get in the car. So I'm gonna start the video right when they get into the car. It's kind of a good rule of thumb whenever you guys are doing Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. They just seem to get better traction when they're shorter. So you don't wanna make them too long. I try to keep them under 30 seconds, and 30 seconds is a long Instagram reel. I'm not gonna say that this is necessarily gonna make your content go viral, but I've just sort of learned over time that shorter is just better with this type of content. You don't wanna make it like a movie. You know, it doesn't need to be super long. So we're gonna use this scene. It's adjustable. So he's moving around the car, trying to find a spot. He starts it up. Mike starts up the car. Whoa! 
So that is 42 seconds. It is a longer reel, but you can chop these up. There's a bunch of different scenes from that movie too that you can use. You guys can chop it up however you want. For the sake of the video, we're just gonna use all 40 seconds so I can show you guys how to do it. So the first thing that I like to do when I do this is obviously I have the movie track. It's like an overlay on top of the picture of my car. So the first thing that I like to do is if I use this tool, which is like the free transform tool, it kind of allows you to just make it whatever size you want. I look at the size of the windshield behind the movie. So I'll just like A, A and B it like this. We wanna make sure that the edges right here are longer than any corners right here because we don't want it to get cut off inside of the windshield, if that makes sense. I'll kind of show you what I mean. But um, you, you want the width to be bigger than the actual windshield itself. So you don't have any like dead space. So what we basically need to do is we need to cut, we need to crop out or mask this entire piece so these little guys fit perfectly inside of my E90 M3. So I'm gonna set this above the actual image up here. And while we have the movie layer selected, we're gonna go over to the right and we're gonna select masks and then we're gonna go to draw mask. We're gonna take draw mask and drag that onto our movie layer. Now the next step that we need to do is we need to actually draw out the mask. So the idea is to trace your car's windshield because that's really the part of the car that we need to crop these guys into. So we can lay down our first little click here and then I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So you can see we have our first little mark right here and you guys don't need to worry about it being absolutely perfect but do your best to just make it as clean as possible. This is just going to ensure that you have a much better result. So I like to kind of just hug the trim and then I also like to go over the windshield wipers because I think it just looks a little bit more realistic. When I say over, I mean like I don't crop out the windshield wipers, I like to leave them because I think it looks a little bit more realistic. So we'll go ahead and do that and then run it across here. It's like the more control points that you have, the more realistic it's going to look. Um, so I try to make as many as possible. All right, so you guys can go even crazier with that part if you want to. For Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, I don't really find that it's necessary. Like, just make it as good as you can. But this is sort of why you need to have some sort of editing program that allows you to draw out a mask like this. Because if you just crop it, it's not gonna fit and it's gonna look kind of weird. Um, this is for sure the best way to do it to make it look good. So once we have that drawn out, we can zoom back out here so we have the full image. And you'll see that the video that was up on top is now gone because we drew out that mask. So it's masking, it's actually cropping out anything that's outside of those control points. So if I slide this up, you will start to see that the movie comes back into play. So what I'm gonna do is try and find the best spot for these two guys. So I want a little bit, uh, try and get them both into the picture. I think that that will probably be pretty good to get both of them in there as much as possible, like both of their eyes at least. And then I'm gonna go back down to transform and I'm gonna drag the whole thing on top of my windshield as close as possible. So that's basically how you do it. And then play it. It's adjustable. And there you go. I mean, you could even change out like the background if you wanted to, to match like what was in the movie, to make it more realistic and like crop your car into it if you wanted to. Uh, I don't really think that's Where's necessary for um, Instagram reels and stuff. But that's essentially how you do it. Uh, you can go even further if you want to. Like if you go into the actual mask that you've drawn here, up here, you can go to uh, feather. So if you feather it, it's actually going to blend the edges in a little bit. Cause right now the cropping points are very hard lines, but we drew ours so precise that it's gonna be pretty hard to tell the difference. So you can see it a little bit. So. If you go back over here and set the feather back up, you can see how it's kind of changing it. So you can feather that in and out to get like the perfect, the perfect amount that you want. Ours is a little bit off. So if I go back to draw a mask and then out of here, I can like line this up a little bit better. So it's like perfect. 
that looks a little bit better. And again, you really don't need to go this far, you guys, like for Instagram reels and TikTok, sometimes like less is more with that stuff and just do your best, get it done and move on. Um, so yeah, that's like negative five feather. I think that that looks pretty good. No one's really gonna be able to tell the difference and it gets the point across, which is the most important part. And then there you go, man. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> But yeah, that's the Monster Ink one. Um, I did a Cheech and Chong one, which was pretty funny. It was tough because the Supra has such a small windshield. Hey, it looks like a quarter pounder, man. Let's <laughs> 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 with that shit, man. I've been smoking since I was born, man. I could smoke anything, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Am I driving okay? It was tough with the Supra because it's such a small windshield. And then I did the Norbit one which... in the F30. I haven't touched your seat. Then why would that so damn from? Here's Rush Hour. That's gonna give me a copyright claim. And then here's the Ted one that's really funny. Just your own brother in the front seat. So why can't you just Pause. Some of these just pop off. It's crazy how that works. If you guys didn't see, I recently put out a video on how Instagram Reels is now paying for my M4 GTS, basically paying me enough to cover my M4 GTS car note, which was $1,000. And I actually misspoke in that video. I noticed that I said 2.7 million views was what got me over $1,000. It was actually 5.7 million views. The 2.7 million views was about $600, a little over $550. Now on my account, I can get up to $35,000 per month, but I have to get 350 million views, which is, uh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. That's like a ton. And I'm already posting a lot of reels. I'm posting like five reels per day. I'm typically hovering around like 5 million views per month. But it's kind of nice to know that if you get that, you're gonna make about $1,000 per month through the Instagram Reels bonus program. Now, the other question that I had from a lot of people was how to actually get monetized with the Instagram Reels bonus program. It's tough to say because it was totally random for me. All I can say is you you just have to be creating Reels. If you're not creating Reels, even if you're not getting monetized, they're not gonna give you the option. You just have to be creating a lot of Reels, which I was already doing. I was already making a lot of Reels because I knew that the engagement was 10 times better than just posting the same old photos that we always post on Instagram. And I did that for about three or four months until I randomly got a notification on my phone when I logged into Instagram one day and it said, you are eligible for the Reels bonus plays. And then it asks you if you wanna try it or skip it, you definitely wanna try it. From that moment forward, when you say try it, you have a month to reach whatever, however many views they say you need to get in order to get paid. So if you're not already making reels and making quite a few of them, you're probably not gonna be eligible to get monetized. It's hard to say how many reels or for how long you need to be posting them in order to get monetized. I just think if you are a content creator, it's a good rule of thumb to just get into making reels, period. You don't have to stop making long-term or long format content. It's just a good idea to diversify and do some short length content as well because I think the future is going to probably be a mixture of both. So if this is what you do for a living or this is something that you want to do for a living, just do both. Just learn how to do both. Find a way to make it enjoyable. I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people really don't like the short length content because they'd rather see something that has more depth and value to it, which I completely understand. I personally think that when it comes to reels and creating short length content, you kind of just shit it out. Like the less that you put into it almost, sometimes it just does better. Like the crap crappier it looks, the better it does. It's really bizarre. But I'll never stop making the longer form content because for me personally, the longer form content, it's much more fulfilling. Like making these little reels, is you can, you can just pop them out left and right. They're really easy to make. There's not much depth to them. But making the longer form content is definitely much more fun in my opinion. And it's just a lot more fulfilling in the end. You feel like you actually are learning something and teaching people and doing something that is worth your time. I really don't overthink any of the Instagram reels or shorts. I just pop them out, man. You will realize the more of these that you make, when you put a ton of time into one, like hours and hours, they always flop, they never do well. And then when you spend like five seconds on one and just pop it out, it just gets millions of views. It's like so weird how that works and you can't predict it. It's just completely random. So my suggestion is to just make as many as possible and have fun with it and just try a bunch of stuff out and see what the trends are and try to learn how to do those trends and kind of morph it into your own style. And the more that you do it, hopefully at some point you'll become monetized. I will tell you right now that I, 
was able to make more money with Instagram Reels within the first two months of being monetized than I was within the first three years of being monetized on YouTube. That will really tell you where the focus is right now and who is putting what kind of advertising dollars into which format of content. All right, so I figured I'd add this tutorial into because everyone seems to be using CapCut. So here's the movie that we all know, Monsters, Inc. I downloaded it onto my phone. And then we're gonna open up CapCut. It is a free app that you can download in the App Store. You're gonna go ahead and find a picture of your car, just like we did in the Final Cut tutorial. We're gonna find a picture of our car that we're gonna be using from head on. There's the M4 GTS, we'll use that one. And so what you wanna do is go on top of the picture that we just added in, we're gonna add an overlay, overlay, add overlay. We're gonna add the movie, the video as the overlay. And then we can resize that to whatever size we want. Just drag it in and out. So this is the part of the movie that we want to use where they're in the car. Drag this to the front. All right, so there's the car and there's the scene. So we're going to resize this to be a similar size to the windshield. And we're basically just going to create a circular mask and feather it in a little bit so it'll work inside of our windshield. Now this isn't gonna be as precise as like drawing a mask in Final Cut Pro. That's gonna give you a much better outcome, but if you just wanted to do this for free and simple, um, you can do so like this and it's pretty easy. So we're going to mask right now. We're gonna to go to circle and you can see you can drag the circle out or inwards and you can also, there's also blending tools that you can use to make that make it look a little bit more cohesive with like the windshield, but we're just gonna keep it pretty, pretty simple with this one. And so there you go, start dragging the bottom and it's gonna feather it out like that. So make it the circle a little bit smaller and then feather it a little bit more just to give it enough to where it looks like they're just kind of floating inside of the windshield. Make it look as realistic as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of think that's the point of Instagram Reels is just keep it simple. Yeah, so there you go. So yeah, that's just another really easy way to do it. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just kind of drag the parameters around and resize it to make it fit as good as possible. And you can do this with obviously any video inside of your car. So see I'm kind of repositioning it. And it looks pretty good. I think the Final Cut version looks a lot better, like the Final Cut Pro um, or like Adobe Premiere edit will look a lot better, but this is a cheap and easy way to do it if you need to. But yeah, that is the tutorial and a little bit of knowledge for you guys and what I've learned so far. And I'll continue to drop some of these videos here and there in between these builds that we have going on. Um, I did just get my Mosselman turbos in for the N54. Gonna be sick along with a bunch of other stuff. So car content coming soon again, gonna be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.